My first education was as a school teacher, uh, and then I was doing something else. And uh, since, yeah, 35 years, I have been working with what we call interhuman relations, interpersonal relations uh, within families, groups, uh, pedagogical institutions, and so on. I know that many, many countries are looking to Scandinavia uh, when it comes to school development. And um, if I had been standing here 15 years ago, I would have said, uh, don't do that. Uh, but in the meantime, a lot of things has happened with the public school in Denmark, Norway and Sweden. Um, and we have been participating, I think, in about 150 schools. Uh, the result is uh, that we now have schools that are absolutely terrible and we have schools that are absolutely wonderful. Um, if we look at the broader picture in Europe, uh, the German school system is not only financially but also pedagogically bankrupt. It has not been developing for 35 years. The Austrian system does not work. And when I say that it is bankrupt or doesn't work, uh, I don't mean that teachers are not coming every day and students are coming every day. Uh, I simply mean that the objectives that the school has uh, are not being reached. Um, there are many, many reasons for that and I will not uh, speak about all of them. Uh, but I would like to introduce a series of experiences that we have made. Um, we don't know much about teaching. So when it comes to how to teach first grader Slovenian or mathematics, we don't know uh, anything. Uh, what we do know uh, is what can you do as an adult be it a parent, a teacher, a leader, uh, if you're not feeling successful, if there are too many conflicts, too many problems um, going on uh, where you live or where you work. In Denmark it started in the beginning of the 90s. Uh, schools got more and more frustrated with the children that were coming to school. One of the reasons they were frustrated was that they had not yet discovered that the time is over when children come into schools only as pupils. They now come as human beings. Uh, and when teachers blame the parents for this fact, it is justified, I think, uh, simply because parents uh, are raising another kind of children uh, than they did uh, 60 years ago when I was born. Uh, there is nothing in the teacher's education, uh, not the basic education, not the postgraduate education, that educates teachers uh, to deal with children uh, and nothing at all in helping them dealing with parents. Um, many schools in Scandinavia are at the moment uh, developing very rapidly uh, in a very good way for everybody. And let me underline this for everybody. Uh, I'm not standing here as a representative of children. Neither am I standing here as a representative of parents or 
a representative for teachers. A good school, in my opinion, is a school where everybody feels well, everybody can develop, and nobody is being hurt or subdued uh, more than uh, happens uh, coincidentally, so to speak. So for me, there is no polarization between children and adults. And I will get back to that, uh, why that is.